Space exploration is entering a new era. NASA has decided to retire the International Space Station. The ISS has been our home in space for over two decades. It has taught us so much about living and working in orbit. By 2030, the ISS will be intentionally crashed back to Earth. This marks a turning point in human spaceflight. It is simply the closing of one chapter and the beginning of another. Maintaining a habitat in the harsh environment of space is a costly endeavor. The ISS, orbiting over 250 miles above Earth, requires constant attention. This includes regular maintenance, repairs, and supply runs. These missions are essential to keep the station operational. They also ensure the safety of the astronauts on board. The annual cost of operating the ISS is substantial. It dips into NASA's budget, limiting resources for other ambitious projects. This includes missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. These new ventures hold the potential for groundbreaking discoveries. They could unveil the secrets of our solar system and the universe. Decommissioning the ISS allows NASA to redirect funds toward these exciting endeavors. This strategic decision reflects a shift in priorities. The focus is now on pushing the boundaries of human exploration further into the cosmos. While the ISS has served as a stepping stone, the future of space exploration lies in venturing beyond low Earth orbit. NASA has awarded SpaceX an $843 million contract for the ISS deorbiting mission. This is no ordinary undertaking. It presents a unique set of challenges. SpaceX will design and build a specialized spacecraft. This vehicle will interface with the ISS and guide it safely back to Earth. The spacecraft will need to be highly autonomous. It will operate independently for up to four days. During this time, it will gradually lower the ISS's orbit. This must be done with extreme precision. The goal is to ensure a controlled re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. This mission will be a true test of SpaceX's engineering prowess. They have a proven track record of innovation. SpaceX developed the reusable Falcon 9 rocket and Dragon spacecraft. These have already transformed access to space. This new endeavor will further solidify their position at the forefront of commercial spaceflight. The successful deorbiting of the ISS will be a testament to their capabilities. Section 4. No second wind. Why boosting the ISS isn't feasible? One might wonder if boosting the ISS to a higher orbit is an option. This would prolong its lifespan. However, this is not a viable solution. Boosting the ISS would require a tremendous amount of fuel. This would be incredibly expensive and logistically challenging. The ISS is also showing its age. After decades in the harsh conditions of space, the station is experiencing wear and tear. Metal fatigue, micrometeoroid impacts, and space debris have all taken their toll. Even with regular maintenance, these issues will continue to accumulate. They pose increasing risks to the safety of future crews. Boosting the ISS to a higher orbit would only delay the inevitable. It would not address the underlying issues of aging infrastructure. Section 5. The Final Descent. A Controlled Demise. The deorbiting of the ISS will be a carefully orchestrated event. SpaceX's spacecraft will first dock with the station. It will then fire its engines in a controlled manner. This will gradually lower the ISS's altitude, causing it to enter the Earth's atmosphere. As the ISS descends, atmospheric drag will increase. This will cause the station to heat up and break apart. Most of the structure will burn up harmlessly in the atmosphere. Any remaining debris will be targeted to fall into a remote area of the Pacific Ocean. This area is known as Point Nemo, or the Spacecraft Cemetery. This controlled re-entry will ensure that no populated areas are at risk. It is a testament to the meticulous planning and precision engineering involved in the mission. While it will be bittersweet to witness the end of the ISS, it will also be a remarkable display of human ingenuity. The future of space habitats, Axiom and beyond. The ISS deorbiting doesn't end human presence in low Earth orbit. Companies are developing their own space stations. 
Axiom Space is building a module for the ISS. After decommissioning, it will detach. It will become an independent space station. This is one of many innovative private sector approaches. The end of the ISS era marks a new chapter in space exploration.